Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this latest editor check-in of mine. You may remember that last month in my January editor's note, I discussed the value of an outside perspective. And this time around, I'd like to continue that theme of embracing external inputs, uh, but more specifically through the lens of workforce trends. Because at the risk of sounding like a broken record, staffing is the top challenge among restoration businesses. And of course, COVID-19, that pandemic has only exacerbated this long-standing struggle. Uh, without a doubt, investing in industry-specific research is critical to finding solutions to challenges like staffing. At r and we do this through our annual State of the Industry Report, and there are exciting new research initiatives in the works. Uh, for example, the IICRC has made research one of its four focus areas in 2022, and KnowHow is conducting the first ever restoration workforce survey to shed light on how the industry can attract and retain qualified workers. So in the spirit of complementing those targeted pursuits of deeper understanding with a wider world view, I wanted to share a few highlights from the Robert Half 2022 Salary Guide. I find the overall workforce report and others like it complements to what we know and seek to learn about the restoration workforce in particular. I think answering questions like, what do people in general want from employers, uh, whether they have experience in this industry or not, or the question, how are other industries treating employees and candidates? They offer up ideas, lessons, and competitive intel from beyond the world of restoration. That is when we find the answers to those questions. And this is important because as we all know, restoration businesses aren't just competing against each other for talent today. They are competing against companies across completely different verticals and not just down the street, but really around the world when you consider remote working. So without further ado, here are a few stats from the 2022 salary guide that stood out to me. And I encourage you to read uh, the report in full. All right, first bullet point, 51% of companies in the U.S. are expanding hiring for permanent roles. 48% of employers are offering signing bonuses for new employees. 43% of employers are offering more paid time off. 40% of employers are offering job title upgrades. 72% of senior managers reported that diversity has increased in their leadership ranks over the past five years. And last bullet, 40% of companies are now posting open roles on DEI-focused job sites. Now, this short list highlights just some of what other companies are doing to attract and retain talent. You'll see if you read the full report, more examples of what other businesses are doing, along with employee expectations. So that perspective as well. For example, 75% of workers want to work remotely at least part of the time. That's a lot. And that obviously has implications for not only restoration, but the trades overall and other fields where at least on the project side and in-person presence is fundamental. Uh, so you'll find in this report there's tips uh, and they're linked in there that explore what the findings mean for organizations in today's tight labor market, ideas for how to address them, things like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious, what are you doing to attract and retain talent? What's working and what hasn't? And also, of course, what questions do you have regarding talent strategy? Please send your stories and questions my way at kingv at bnpmedia.com so we can share success stories. We can help others learn from the mistakes of peers, and we can address challenge areas with informative coverage, uh, which is so key to what we do here in R &R, at r and &R. And before I sign off, while I have you, I wanted to highlight that this happens to be the focus of a panel discussion called How to Win the War for Top Talent, which I'll be moderating at Nexus on March 29th with a group of five industry members who've experienced success with staffing and have unique perspectives on how to find and keep high quality team members in this tough market. So if you'll be at the February 28th through 29th conference and trade show in Las Vegas, I welcome you to join us for an insightful conversation and bring questions. Uh, that's all for this time. Thanks as always for listening. 